homegirls and homeboys. It's been a motherfucking minute. College is making your girl pretty sewer. Okay, it sucks. Like, genuinely, it sucks. I'm gonna be so honest because, you know, I keep it real with you. Really want to drop out. Really considering it because it's just not like... I fucking hate school. I had a good thing going with the social media shit and now I feel like I'm falling behind because I'm always at fucking school and I literally fucking hate it. So let me know what you guys think I should do because I'm feeling like fuck it. But anyway, so I have a story time for you guys. I know you guys have been asking for a story time. I do have another video to upload and edit for you guys, but y'all know editing takes me forever. So this story time is going to be about the time I found out my girlfriend was cheating on me. I put cheating in quotations because you have to listen to the story. Like, if she watches my videos sometimes and bitch, you know you were wrong as fuck and you know you were crazy. And for this reason, we could never get back together because this bitch did me so dirty all the fucking time. But, okay, so if you watched my, my ex tried to kill me story time, you remember that I was fucking with a girl named Lotion. Like, that was my bitch. That's who I was dating. I was in fucking love with this girl, like, Okay, I was like 15 or 16. I was like in love with this girl. Like I was dumb. I was naive. I literally like listened and believed anything she told me because I was just dumb. And that's another reason why if you're 15 or 16, don't date somebody who's like 18, 19 years old because they're going to manipulate you because she definitely manipul manipulated me in so many different ways. But okay, so I met her and we dated. We dated all through summer. And she was going to go off to college. And during the summertime, everything was good. Like, we had a few arguments and that. But that's just because I'm crazy and she's out of her mind. So, like, it was arguments here and there, like, about little stupid shit. But never anything, like, super serious. It would be like, oh, why is this girl, like, texting you? Like, stuff like that. And she always had an excuse for it literally all the time. And now I would never tolerate that. Like, you want to go text your exes for any kind of reason, go be with them. I just not that doesn't get down with me but because I loved her so much like literally I would let her do whatever she wanted like she did some foul ass shit but I'm not even gonna say that because that's putting somebody else's business out she did some foul ass shit like I would literally just like let her do whatever because I loved her but because I was just so young and I was just so dumb and I like literally believed anything she was telling me but whatever so when she went away to college that's like when like things changed like she just became so rude her attitude towards me was so nasty all the time so she was a freshman in college and I was a junior in high school and I don't know why in my mind I thought that we were gonna be together forever like I thought that long distance was gonna work now like that's why I have that like my like that mindset of like nothing is forever like I really don't give a fuck like about anything or anybody because like girl I'm so young I don't care but like with her, I was so in love with her. Like I was so naive. Like this was one of my first real relationships. Like, so I just wanted to be like with her. But when she went away for college, like she just became so rude. Like if I was having a good day, like I literally remember one time after school, she asked me how my day was. And I told her, I was like, I had this great day. Like blah, blah, blah. I'm like going on and on. She cuts me off in the middle of my sentence. And she's like, I don't care. Cause I had a bad day. I'll talk to you later. And I like accepted that. Like I was putting up with that. Jordan now would never ever ever I would never ever ever put up with something like that girl ever babe but I was so young and like this is all gonna build up to the story so this is why I'm telling you guys all this I was so young I was just like what like okay but she would be rude to me all the time and she would like play mind games with me like she would be like I like literally she would be like I'm so done with you like I hate you dude like just so fucking rude to me and I feel like she doesn't remember how bad she treated me because like we talk sometimes I feel like she doesn't remember how bad she treated me like she was so rude to me and she would like say stuff like that to me and I would just be like, like what did I do to you like I didn't even do anything and I remember her friend like saying to me like it just sucks when you go away and you realize that your girlfriend wasn't who she thought who she thought or who you thought she was or something like that but talking about me like saying that I was different and I was like bad but in reality she was like telling her friends like that I was treating her like some kind of way and I literally wasn't it was her she was being rude and manipulating me all the time like for no reason so oh what was I saying what was I saying yeah so then I remember one time specifically like she wrote me this long paragraph like she's like I'm so done with you I don't want to be with you and usually I would like be like oh my god like no I love you so much like, blah, 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 blah. but this time I was just so fucking over it and I was just like okay like whatever you don't want to be with me that's fine and then she wrote another paragraph and she's like I love you like I'm so sorry I can't believe I said that like she just like wanted to like control me like 
I had to be available to her and her only. Like, I couldn't say like, oh, I don't want to be with you. Because when I did, then she would be like, no, I love you so much. Like, blah, 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 blah. But like, she would tell me all the time, like, she didn't want to be with me. And then, so we, she like was like, we need to take a break. And this was like a month and a half after she left for college. And I was like, fuck, like for what? And I just was so sad. Like, I was like so depressed. I cried like every fucking day because I loved her so much. So that's why I say cheated because we were on a break, but we were still together because we were still talking every fucking day. And I wasn't allowed to talk to anybody else. Like, it was just the worst. Like, looking back, I'm telling you guys, it's because this was like the worst relationship I've ever been in in my life. Like, genuinely, this was the worst relationship I've ever been in in my life. So now this is where the roommate comes in so she had a roommate i don't remember if they had met before or not but like her and her roommates got like super close super super fast like really really fast and there is two roommates in particular there was one girl i'm gonna call her c i always thought that she like was they're like best friends now but i always thought that she was like doing something with her and now i know that they weren't doing anything but i always thought that she was doing something with her because they were always together they were always on the phone or like when i would call her she would only be talking to her like she would not be talking to me and i was just like what the fuck and i remember i bought her a pair of basketball shoes and she gave it away to one of her fucking roommates and i wanted to punch her in her fucking face because excuse me i bought her a pair of basketball shoes for herself and she gave them away she's like well they didn't fit you gave me the fucking size dumbass if they didn't fit how is that my fault like i was so fucking mad because at that time i worked at taco bell i was making like fucking 875 an hour these shoes were like over a hundred dollars like bitch are you kidding me that's a lot of money for me my fucking checks used to be like three hundred dollars and i just spent over a hundred dollars on a pair of basketball shoes just for you to give them away to somebody else girl i'm so mad but whatever so there was one roommate named c who i always thought that she was like messing with but it wasn't c now there was another roommate named s that i didn't even i didn't find s attractive at all so i didn't think that she would find s attractive at all because i was like well that's clearly like me and s are very different so i'm like well if she's attracted to me she can't be attracted to s at all like at all boy oh boy boy oh boy was i wrong boy oh boy was i wrong so when lotion left for college she like started she just complained about literally anything and everything she could complain about all the time she didn't like her bed, she didn't like her room, she didn't want to go to class, she was failing, like she just complained, complained, complained. But I would listen to it. But I feel like she knew that I was getting to a point where it's like, I don't want to hear you call and complain every day when I'm trying to have a good day. You already have me so fucking depressed about this dumbass relationship. So I don't want to hear you complain every day. And I feel like she could like sense that, but I would still listen. So it got to the point where she would only talk to like S and C about like her problems that she was like having and I was like why don't you come to me looking back I could see why because I clearly didn't want to hear it and she just had a lot of like personal problems like okay it's gonna sound fucked up but I'm the kind of person where I can only say so much to try to help you if you don't want to listen then I just I'm like I'm gonna get tired of talking I don't want to hear about the same thing over and over and over again like I care about people's like about people's personal like issues and problems but like if I literally cannot do anything about it, please do not keep coming to me about it because I can't help you at that point. I'm just wasting my breath. You're wasting your time. We're both wasting our time. Nobody likes to waste their time. So it just got to the point where it was like fucking ridiculous for both of us. So she started telling me that her and S would sleep in the bed naked together. And keep in mind, this is when we were together, but we weren't really together. So I was mad, but I like whenever i would say something she'd be like we're not together but if i would tell her like oh this boy texted me she would be so mad like she would get so like mad and angry and it was just crazy or if i would say what did i name the other one banana or something if i'd be like oh my god banana texted me because her and banana obviously didn't fucking like each other banana like tried to fucking kill us she would be so fucking angry but she's allowed to like sleep in the bed naked with this girl and i was like She'd be like, yeah, we like cuddled naked or we like cuddled in the bed. And I and S had a girlfriend. S had a girlfriend. So I'd be like, well, how does her girlfriend feel about this? She's like, oh, she doesn't care. Like trying to like gaslight me and make me feel like I was crazy for thinking that that wasn't okay. When it really wasn't okay. Like that is not okay. And if you're in a relationship with somebody that like gaslights you all the time, break up with them because that's all she did. Like if I felt some kind of way, she would gaslight me and be like, well, blah, 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 doesn't care. Or like, da, 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 da. like just go fucking crazy for no reason. But like, I would still be the person she was calling at two o'clock in the morning crying, but you're sleeping in the bed naked with this bed, like what the heck? So I remember she came to see me maybe like a month after she left for college. She had came back 
for like a weekend she surprised me like she texted my sister when I got home from school she was like laying on my bed or something and I didn't know she was coming and that whole time she was here was like so like like weird like it was so fucking weird like she was just being so rude and so standoffish like I literally still have videos and I sent her one a few days ago and I was like, girl, like you're so fucking like, I was basically like, you're a bitch. Like, look how you're acting. She's like, you probably made me mad. But I literally didn't do anything. Like in that video, I was just calling her name so she would look at the camera. And she was like, like you, like the whole weekend was so off. And I was like, what did I do to her? Like, it just seemed like she did not want to be in my presence at all. Now I know it's probably because she was laying up in the bed with this bitch S, but whatever. So when she went back to college, that's when it became even worse. Like she was just so rude to me. So then one day we're on the phone and she's like just talking talking and she's like oh and da, 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 and S licked my nipples and I'm like and she just keeps talking and I'm like D -d 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 back up what and I got so mad and she like again basically made me feel like I could not get mad she's like we're not together like it's not even that big of a deal like it was a joke uh it was just a joke and I'm like did you do it to her and she's like no and she basically just kept telling me like it's a joke like why are you mad why are you mad why are you mad like type shit like that and I'm just like, like, I just like remember hanging up and I just started crying. And she's like, well, at least I told you, right? Like, she just was like, so like horrible. And this is why I am not shit now. Cause bitch, I don't trust anybody. Cause like, this was horrible. Like this situation, like this whole situation, like really impacted my like dating life and everything. But I, I was just like, what the fuck? So I remember I talked to S about it and she was like laughing at me. Like we were on the phone. I was on the phone with lotion and S came to the phone and I was like talking to her about it. I'm like, you licked her nipples. Like what the fuck? And she's like laughing at me and lotion is laughing at me. And I just remember feeling so embarrassed. And I was like, what the fuck? Like this cannot be real life right now. Like I've never had two dumbass adults like being so fucking stupid in my life. Like they were both laughing, acting like it wasn't a big deal. And keep in mind, like I said, S had a girlfriend. So a few days later, S was on the phone with her girlfriend and I was like, oh, let me say hi to her girlfriend. So lotion put like the phones like by each other. And I just remember, I didn't even say hi. I was like, did you know that your girlfriend took my girlfriend's nipples? Like, and like they took the phone away. And uh, S was like, baby, like, she's just kidding. She's just kidding. And Lotion was like, why the fuck would you say that? Like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Like, so clearly S's girlfriend didn't know about this whole situation. Like, she had no idea about the situation. And I just remember being like, that is so fucking weird. So S clearly has a little bit more respect for her girlfriend than you have for me. Like, what the fuck? So this whole, like, this whole situation, like, it was, like, it kept constantly happening. Like, her, like, sleeping in the bed with this girl or, like, she was always with them. Like, she didn't want to talk to me. So I remember in December of 2019, she came out here for, like, like, a break or whatever to see me. And, like I said, this is the time we were broken up, but we were still talking every single day. So, like, we were still together, like, basically. Because if I did anything with anybody, she would flip her fucking lid and be so angry. But she could do whatever she wanted. And I had to just sit there like a fucking dumbass puppy. So she had picked me up from my house and I had on a pair of her Crocs that she gave me, that she gave me. And she's like, oh, and I need my Crocs back. And I said, no, like I said, no. And she's like, yeah, I need those Crocs back. Like I'll take you home and you go change and give me my Crocs. I said, no, I'll buy you a new fucking pair of Crocs. Why do you want Crocs that I've been rock uh, walking around in for months? Like you haven't asked for these Crocs back in months. She's like, I just want my Crocs back. I was like, no you can't have your Crocs back. And keep in mind, this is the time where I still had all of her clothes. I still had all her pictures on my wall. Like we were not like to that point yet. So I was like so taken aback and I was so fucking offended because I was like, excuse me. And I just remember like we got into a big ass argument about it. Cause I'm like, bitch, this is a pair of Crocs. I remember I just like, you're fucking like, you're a lunatic. And we started wrestling like in the fucking car. Cause she wanted these, uh, these dusty ass orange Crocs that have like, I've been wearing for months. I'm like, you just want to be petty. Like, absolutely not. You're not getting Crocs back go fucking drive into a cliff or something like girl no so she got me back off at home and i remember i like called her crying i'm like come back like da, da, da. she's like no like fuck you but like about some fucking crocs like bitch you're crazy so uh that whole situation happened and then i remember she's like oh um oh, i need a name for her dad she's like my dad's coming to pick my shit up like put all my shit in the bag i still have those fucking crocs i didn't put those crocs in that bag but i like gave her clothes back um and i remember she was like oh i gave you some stuff to keep like why did you send that stuff back to me bitch i wanted to send everything back she had gave me like a little debit card i cut that shit up i she gave me this big ass poster it was a big ass poster of her i had my friend because my friend was helping me because i was just crying my friend folded that poster into a thousand fucking pieces and when you opened it up it was fucking unrecognizable she had to throw it away
like the girl uh lotion up spelled away because the fucking poster was unrecognizable because i was just so hurt and i wanted to fucking rip it up but i didn't so i just told my friend like fold it up to the point where you can't even fucking use it anymore so after that whole situation i had to like stop talking to her i stopped talking to her for like a month or two months she didn't even tell me happy birthday and i don't think i've told her happy birthday ever since i don't think i've told her happy birthday since then because she never told me happy birthday like even if we were on good terms i didn't tell her happy birthday because she didn't tell me happy birthday and that really hurt my feelings because keep in mind if you listen to this whole story you cheated on me i did not do anything to this girl i didn't cheat on her once she was so rude and disrespectful and manipulative to me and i feel like even to this day she still doesn't understand like the magnitude of what the fuck she was doing to me because like bitch i was smoking weed like every single day i was depressed as fuck i was so sad like i literally would skip school so much because i couldn't even go through a whole school day without crying because i was just like what the fuck did i do to like deserve like to be treated like this like i just genuinely did not understand because i was so young like i didn't understand like what i did to her for her to be like this rude to me for no reason so i was just like so depressed and when she didn't tell me happy birthday it kind of sealed the deal and then i got into another relationship and like she that's when she kind of like started wanting to talk to me again and i feel like it's because she's seen that i was in a relationship and i like moved on from her and at that point i hadn't even like fully moved on from her but like now you couldn't even give me a million dollars to date her again i'm gonna be so honest with you because it was just like genuinely like one of the worst experiences of my life of my dating life like it really shaped me into who i am today because she just like you cheated on me you treated me like shit and i didn't do anything to you i didn't do anything to you like i didn't cheat on you i tried my best to be nice to you and it was my first real relationship this was like her fucking fifth relationship like she just like you couldn't pay me to date this girl again she treated me like fucking shit but that's the story of when I caught my girlfriend cheating on me with her roommate and she just was fucking treating me like shit all the time. Um, let me know if you guys want more lotion story times because I do have so many more with this girl. Um, but yeah, I'm sorry that I took such a long break from you guys. I'm really going to try to be consistent again. It's just life is, life's kicking me in my ass. But like I said, I have this upload for you guys. So you guys better love it. You guys better fucking appreciate it. If anything, if I can't post story times all the time, I can post rant videos all the time. Because bitch... I fucking hate everything but yes follow my instagram follow my tiktok follow my twitter and bye homegirls and homeboys